headed for the rest. We have to slow them down. Martha and the others won't be ready. Something's coming. Apologies, my lord. Did I miss anything? Only the first round, so wait. Shall we? Thank you. 
Do you see any more? No. I think that was the last of them. But it won't be long before the next lot arrive. Then we make for Martha's while we can. What did you find out there? The same as Sir Wade. Scores of Akashic. Well, wherever they came from, they're gone now. Our lookouts say the lowlands are clear. Hopefully we'll have enough time to lick our wounds. How many of your men were injured? A well, damn sight less than if you hadn't turned up. Thank you. It was a hard-fought victory. But as long as the skies remain dark, I fear the Akashic's numbers are only going to rise. It's not a matter of if the Horde will be back, but when. And whether that's sooner or later, we'll need to be ready. The inn here affords a good view of the land, and is easily defendable. I'd like to make this one of our outposts. What do you say, Martha? You'd have more men to guard the rest. Well, when you put it like that... Of course they can stay. My lord, there's someone I'd like you to meet. Oscar, over here. It is an honor to make your acquaintance, Lord Rossfield. I am Oscar. Oscar of House Murdoch. Murdoch? I wasn't aware the Lord Commander had children. Oh, he didn't. But his brother... My father did. I am Sir Rodney's nephew. <clears throat> well, go on, then. It's not for me to ask him. Yes, Sir Wade. If it please you, my Lord Marquis, might you take me as your squire? I would learn the duties of a shield from the finest. <sighs> I'm sorry to disappoint you, Oscar, but I am a shield no longer. Nor was I ever the finest. And spending time in the company of an outlaw hardly seems a fitting education for one aspiring to take his oaths. My Aunt Hannah once told me that a man is not defined by his title, but what he does in its name. You have accomplished much since taking on the mantle of Sid, winning no little honor in so doing. And I would sooner serve under an honorable outlaw than an unworthy shield. N n not that Sir Wade and the other guardians are... I mean to say that, uh, the... It's all right. We know what you mean. There is only so much the boy can learn from me, my lord. But a squire... Would that really be so bad? You were a squire once? And I'm certain Sir Rodney would approve. <sighs> know that I'll show you as much leniency as your uncle showed me. I would not have it any other way. Our friends seem to have things under control. For now, at least. Let's go and put Otto's mind at rest.
wasn't expecting you back, son. All yours. Here you are. Come again. I may have more for you. I was wondering when you turn up. Hello, from all our friends thanking you for your timely intervention. How is it you always manage to arrive at just the right moment? Luck, I suppose. Any word on the rest of the realm? Hmm, let's see. Storm's still crying out for Mother Crystals. The nations are still in chaos. And the skies are still the color of a kick in the kidneys two days on. So... Right. Clive, we knew this was going to happen. Well, not the bleeding skies part, but you take my point. Now's not the time to second guess yourself. Now's the time to visit the infirmary. Taya says your brother's awake. Thank you, Otto. So it was not Sylvester, but Olivier, who served as Ultima's puppet. And when Dion learned of this, he sought to slay the fiend. <sighs> Only for his father to take the spear that would have freed him. Enough to drive a man to madness. Small wonder he hasn't stirred. I would be afraid to wake. Had I but reached out to him sooner, warned him of the threat Ultima posed. But now, both an empire and her prince lie broken. Joshua, what do you know of Ultima? Very little, I'm afraid, despite my best efforts. Eighteen years ago, as I lay buried beneath the rubble of Phoenix Gate, it was not death who came for me, but another. And it was while in my rescuer's care I first heard of Ultima. I've been chasing his shadow ever since. Ultima is driven by some deep, dark purpose, and for whatever reason, it would seem you are crucial to his designs. He will stop at nothing to have you even if that means toppling an empire. But why me? What possible use could I be to such a creature? That is one of many answers that have eluded me. Yet, I am certain of this. It is not mere chance. You were chosen for a reason. All dominants carry within them the might of an icon. Nigh limitless power that is at once acutely limited. I wield fire, and only fire. And I only ice. Eight wardens for eight elements. But you, Clive. You are different. You are special. Your abilities begin with the flames of Ifrit. But they do not end there. The fact Ifrit can even exist goes against everything we thought we knew of dominance. 
Perhaps Ultima has been waiting for one such as you, whose potential is truly limitless. I've encountered that thing several times now. If it or he, as you say, needs me, why hasn't he claimed me as he did the boy? Were I to hazard a guess, I'd say the two of you are somehow incompatible. His mind not properly attuned to your body. His mind? Mind, awareness, spirit, call it what you wish. But I believe Ultima to be an embodiment of the concept. This is why I struggle and fail to contain him here inside me. Sorry, inside you? With every setting sun, I feel my strength wane. And though the Phoenix's flames mend the prison I have made for Ultima, they do so at a cost. We must find a means to bring an end to him before I meet my own. What were you thinking? It was that or let him take Clive. And I've always had a soft spot for my brother. But that doesn't mean you should sacrifice yourself to save me. Joshua! <coughs> Clive! It's Gav! <coughs> There's an army of Akashic at the gates of Canver. <coughs> well, what's the short of it? Uh, it's all tired, I told you. The capital of the free cities is under siege by an army of monstrosities. The city guard are doing their best to stem the tide, but numbers ain't on their side. What of Lord Byron and Mid? Were they able to escape? No, but they're all right for now. They're hiding with Gav at midship. We have to get them out of there. Hmm. And we shall. Otto, prepare a stolas. Tell Gav to stay exactly where he is. Understood. Vivian, what's the swiftest route to the Free Cities? <laughs> that sounds like a question for the map. Look here. This road, through Tabor, should provide the least trouble. Good. What a coincidence. Tabor is exactly where I'm bound. Joshua, bed is where you should be bound. You don't think I told him the exact same thing? Were Taya not such a talented healer, I would surely have been inclined to agree. But, thanks to her ministrations, I feel I may safely rejoin my attendant, who was to wait for me in Tabor if we became separated. All right, we travel together. Clive! If he stays close to me, he'll be fine. Thank you. Brother. I'll look after him. My attendant was with me in the Dominion before I primed. She would have watched the battle unfold and witnessed its outcome. I trust you'll be waiting for me in Tabor, where I can finally introduce you.
It's like a dream. The four of us out walking like we used to. Enjoying this, are you? Gav and the others could be in danger as we speak. You're right. I'm sorry. Yote is a fine scout. If Canva was attacked, she will already have begun gathering information. Tabor isn't far. We should pick up the pace. When did you get so big? We can use the ruins to cross the ravine. Assuming they will allow it, the Echoes have a will of their own.
Tell us about Yote, Joshua. She's strong-willed, loyal, and deadly with a blade. Much like Clive, but with better manners. What happened here? Where are your comrades? Ether flood up ahead. It swallowed our camp while we slept. My own men did this. Turned every last one of them. There's a village not far from here. Tabor. The people were kind to us. It's only a matter of time before they won't stand the chance. We can't let those monsters reach the... <laughs> up ahead just off the track <laughs> they must not reach Tabor forgive me Lord Kuka rest well soldier He said the encampment was close. Let's hope the Akashic are still there. Another ether flood. They're everywhere now. We can't go around it. Then we'll just have to be careful.
you're with the battalion? I am. I heard the fighting. Are the others taken care of? One of your brothers in arms told me what happened and asked for help. Another survivor? Where is he? Tell me. His wounds were too deep. <sighs> he was right to send you. Those things you slew are no longer my brothers. Tabor is safe thanks to you. Here, you've earned it. seem familiar. Have we met? You must have me confused with someone else. Wait. That scar! Son of a whore! You're Sid! I was there! In Kostnis when you killed my brothers! I was there in Rosalith when you killed my commander! My war with Hugo Kupka is over. I bear no ill will toward those who followed him. What of my ill will? Coward! Draw your steel. Lord Kupka shall be avenged! When your wounds have healed and your head has cooled, come and find me if you must. Though I hazard your life would be better spent in service of those who need it. Or have you forgotten your oath to the Republic? My oath? What would you know of oaths? I know how hard they are to keep. Which is why I'm giving you the chance to keep yours. No. <laughs> I won't be deceived. Lord Kupka told us of your crimes. You are an outlaw. A murderer, not some... <laughs> some... Man. Like you or anyone else. I am nothing like you. But if you're not gonna kill me, then go. Leave! Just know that I will find you, Sid. Someday. Nearly there. Have you been to Tabor before? There are a few places I haven't. Where now, Joshua? There is a residence just inside the city gates. She awaits us within. Welcome, welcome. Come again.
Well, this isn't at all foreboding. you're after. Thanks. <sighs> Decent quarries be hard to find since the sky's turned. Careful how you pack that leather. Any creases or scratches will bring down the price. My Lord Marquess, it is an honor. I am Yote, Knight of the Undying, charged with the protection of His Grace Joshua Rosfield, Keeper of the Flame of the Phoenix. Uh, of course. It all makes sense now. Would you care to elaborate? <laughs> 